bathroom. Um, I'm actually staying in London tonight. I'm in the artist residence. I'm actually here with this works. So I've got lots of goodies around the room to play with, but I'm actually getting ready right now for dinner. I have about half an hour, which for me is, uh, is not really quite enough time to get ready in, but I thought I'd actually film it. Why not? And we'll do a kind of real time get ready with me, which is gonna basically be me throwing makeup onto my face without much thought and trying to talk to you, but probably forgetting to. So yeah, I also have a few options that I'm gonna wear tonight. I'm not sure still which ones I'm gonna pick, but I might try them both on and show you. Um, I was gonna say let you decide them, but this is a video and you're not gonna be able to do that. But hey, you can see them both on. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I think the lighting is good enough to just set you up right here. Does that work? I think that will do. So as you can tell, I have absolutely nothing on my face right now, but I have packed a giant bag full of makeup. Probably way, way more makeup than I actually need. We're going for dinner uh, in a little bit in the restaurant here. So I'm just gonna do a kind of quick evening-y, um, but still really simple makeup because we all know I don't really buy into putting a ton of makeup on, mainly because I'm too lazy to do so. So um, I'm gonna start with some primer, which I've actually kind of been getting back into. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, and I think it's just because it's wintry now, it's really cold, and my skin has been getting so dry. I'm actually also, for some reason, really red and hot right now, so we'll try and cover that up, but yeah, my skin, especially when my nose is so dry right now, um, and this is a really good primer for a bit of hydration as well as um, all that priming goodness. I'm also using my favorite foundation at the moment, which is the Clarins Skin Illusions. I do have two colors of this. This one is too dark for me and this one is too light for me. So I think I'm gonna just put the two together. Seeing as it is already dark outside now, I probably could get away with using the darker one. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of the lighter one into it. I think I'm just gonna do this on the back of my hand as well. I love when a foundation has a little pipette dropper thing. I think that's cool, mainly because I don't know, it just looks a bit sciencey to me, especially when I'm mixing up colors. So I've just done a little bit of that. You can see how liquidy this is. It's really runny and really nice and thin, but it gives a good coverage as well. So let's try and cover up my rosy, rosy cheeks with this. So yeah, we're staying in London tonight with this works, like I said. It's Sunday today, by the way, if I haven't said that already. It's quite a nice chilled day. We got here in the afternoon and have basically just been eating uh, yeah, that's, that's what we like to do. The lighting in here, although it looks kind of okay on camera, is actually really, really yellow, so I can't tell if I've blended this all in or not, but that's fine, that will do. Uh, I've actually got two concealers with me, but I think I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Concealer, which um, is probably the more fuller coverage. I have NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in there as well, but this one, gonna be a bit more heavy duty. I really like this concealer. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline eraser so if you are after a good high street dupe with this it has that sponge on the end which um, actually really helps it go on nicely i thought this would be a bit weird but i like it a lot i think i have a beauty blender with me somewhere but i'm just gonna go ahead and do this with my real techniques buffing brush which i'm so back into at the moment by the way i think i did mention this in another video but i've been really liking this i think because it goes so well with the clarence foundation um, and then I've just been too lazy to reach for any other brushes, so I've been using this for all my cream products. I've also just realised I need to do something with my hair because I just let it air dry on the train up here and it might just need a brush through, you know, basic hair care 101, brush your hair. Not that I actually ever do. Uh, so am I going to use any other cream products before I set this? Let me see. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for the Clinique Chubby Stick. This is another kind of old school love that I've been back into again. I was getting really into using um, powder bronzers and I just sort of started to notice that they were looking really cakey on my skin. I don't know if it's because of what I was putting underneath them or everything else I was using, but I've gone back to my good old faithful Clinique um, Chubby Contour Stick, which I always love for bronzer. I've also got with me, which I think I'm gonna use tonight, uh, this Bobbi Brown Hot Rouge. This is in the color Powder Pink. Um, I don't know why I stopped using this because it was my favourite blush for ages and ages. I really like the formula of these um, and you can use them on your lips as well. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. I'm trying to keep my skin quite glossy and natural looking um, and then maybe go a little bit heavy on the eyes. I am going to set that all though first. I'm going to do my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, um, which I don't actually reach for that much anymore. I've been using, what have I been using instead? 
I've been using the new Charlotte Tilbury Loose Powder. I think it's called the Magic Powder or the Wonder Powder. And it's so good. It's basically everything that this is, but a bit more radiant and sheeny, um, which you do tend to get with the loose powder. But I'm not going to be carrying that all the way up to London with me without causing some kind of explosion in my makeup bag. I've got my two favourite brow products with me. I've got the Dior Show All Day Brow Ink, which we know I love. I'm slightly obsessed with. I like this little thing a lot. And I've also got my Benefit pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow pencil. And I've kind of been using them together recently. This is quite a natural look. This is quite a strong look. So two of them together kind of make it a bit more middle ground. And I like that. So I'm just going to start with the Benefit brow pencil. I'm going to brush my brows up first, actually. There's kind of a sink in the way right now. So I can't really get much closer. But I am going to lean in. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Not that you need to watch me fill my brows in for the next 10 minutes. Does anybody else uh, always spend the most time on their brows? For some reason, I can't help but just keep keep on going. I can't stop myself when it comes to brows. Okay, so I've kind of filled them in roughly with that. I'm just going to brush them through a little bit. And then the Dior Brow Ink. I'm just going to take it through the kind of bulk of my brow just to make them a little bit stronger and a bit darker but I've already kind of outlined it with the pencil first. I do think this one is a little bit harder to get a good shape with just because it's quite a soft blur effect so if you like quite a precise brow I think it's definitely better to go in with a pencil first. As if two brow products wasn't enough I'm also going to go in with a third. This is a brow gel. It's the Anastasia one which I've been really back into. This sets your brows down solidly. They do not budge when you have this on. Some people don't like that, it can get a little bit crispy, but I do like my brows to stay in place and I find the wax-based brow gels kind of move around throughout the day, whereas this one is like gel. It just sticks them down. So, the eye product I brought with me, I didn't actually, I haven't really been doing a lot of eyeshadow recently, but I have brought this Chanel Ombre Premier. This is in silver pink, a gorgeous, kind of like taupey grayish color. It looks quite brown on camera, but it, it has little purple flakes in it. Flecks, not flakes. Um, and it's really, really gorgeous. So I'm gonna kind of just blend this really messily and smokily just onto my lid. I think when you're doing a, a slightly darker kind of smoky eye, it always looks better if you keep it to just a one product, something quite minimal, and maybe even a little bit messy and not so polished. I think it just looks a bit more modern and fresh that way. And it also makes things a whole lot quicker too. Speaking of quicker, how much time do I have? Oh, about 10 minutes. So I'm actually going to build this up with my fingers and then just blend the edges a little bit with a brush. Um, but you could just go straight fingers and do it all that way. These feel really funny. They feel kind of like bouncy, bouncy jelly eyeshadows, but they are so pretty, kind of sheeny, but really subtly. I think I want to do that underneath as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a slightly smaller brush here and just take it underneath my eye as well. I'm going to go with a little bit of eyeliner just in my waterline. This is the NARS uh, Sorrento Coal Liner. Always my go-to eyeliner. It's kind of like a dark chocolatey brown kind of colour. Get that in my waterline there. It's not super dark either. It's kind of nice to do a brown. Um, instead of a black. I feel like black eyeliner just really closes up my eyes whereas brown looks a bit smoky but it still keeps them a bit more wide and open. So the mascara I've been using recently is a complete throwback and um, this reminds me of my youth. It's the Max Factor Masterpiece Max Mascara. I actually used this probably at the beginning of my YouTube channel. I, you might have seen me use it quite a bit back then all those many years ago. Um, but I actually used to work when I worked on a beauty counter next to the Max Factor counter and I used to always go and steal their mascara and put it on because it was literally just the best. Probably shouldn't be admitting to that but I liked it a lot and I still like it. Um, Max Factor sent me out a package of all their mascaras a little while ago and it was just, it was a trip down memory lane. It was very nostalgic. And of all of them I do remember this being my favourite so I've been wearing it quite a bit recently and um, it's really, really nice. Okay, nearly done, nearly there. Um, last thing to do is lips. I have another throwback actually. I just grabbed for a nude lip liner while I was leaving and packing 
And I picked up this one, which is Boldly Bare from MAC. I probably haven't used this in a while, but um, it kind of went with the lipstick that I wanted to wear. So I'm just gonna do a rough little outline of my lips and also kind of fill them in a little bit. This is a nice color. These days I tend to just go for the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 3C, which they have actually discontinued now. So this might be one that I'm reaching for a bit more often. Um, so I'm gonna also just smudge the edges out with my finger, which I always do when I put lip liner on so it's not too perfect. And then I've got a little mini here. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Liquid Lipstick in Sugar Mama, which uh, hopefully should last me through dinner. Again, I'm just gonna put a little bit on and then sort of push it in with my finger. I was also thinking about doing a red lip, but now that I've done a kind of smokier looking eye, I think, I think that's probably gonna be a no. So I'm gonna go and throw a pair of straighteners through my hair and then use the product. I bought these two with me. I've got the Sam McKnight, uh, Barely Bare, Texture Mist, and the Styling Mist, which are probably kind of the same thing. This one is more of a hairspray kind of for setting. This one is more of a dry texture spray. So I'm gonna use some of those. I'm just gonna give my hair a little bit of a taming with a pair of straighteners though, which I don't think I can film because there is no plug in here. this uh wrap silky gorgeous slip dress type thing this is actually from asos it's very similar to one i had in summer which was kind of polka dotty um it's the same kind of cut which i think is actually a really flattering cut um and it's asos so it's really inexpensive but it has that gorgeous like silky satin which is i think really kind of cool right now love the color too it's like a bone orange but also more of a red so there's that one which is a little bit fancier and then i do also have my realization pa wrap dress this is polka dotty as you can tell i feel like this one is a bit more casual i can just wear boots with it it's also got long sleeves and they're both midi length still not sure though i think i'm just going to show you what they both look like and then i will make a decision myself so this is the first dress on the kind of more silky like slinky little cami dress it's like a cami dress but a wrap dress and i feel like a wrap dress is a lot more flattering than a cami one especially if you've got hips like i have so yeah i actually really really like this one the color is gorgeous as well it's a really nice length too but all i do have is boots so i'm not sure not sure how well that's going to go with this one i've also just thrown on a few more necklaces with this i've got my um estee for daisy daisy jewelry new necklace which i love um my brigitte shell uh my relinquo necklace and i've got the little star on here from letter porter and I put some earrings on as well, but I don't want to wear too much jewellery. Uh, yeah, so this is option number one. So this is the Realisation Par dress, which I actually, now that I've tried it on, I uh, forgot how much I love. I feel like they do the most flattering, amazing wrap dresses. They are quite low cut, um, but as always, I've just put my little lace bralette on from ASOS, which I think kind of just makes it a bit more okay. It's got kind of balloon sleeves and these little puffy shoulders. Um, I think I might actually, now that I've got it on, go for this one. I also put my boots on and I have a leather jacket to throw on with it as well. I think this one looks really good with a leather jacket. This is my favourite, of course, from Bershka. Yeah, so I think that is probably it. I've got my Vagabond boots on. Uh, these have a little bit of a heel, um, but they're still super comfortable, really easy to walk in. I've also just thrown on some hoop earrings with this. These are my ASOS ones. They are sold out, but there are a really similar pair. Um, online at the moment. So that is an actual real time, real life, get ready with me. Um, I hope my makeup is okay. I feel like I'm maybe needing a little bit more powder, but I can do that on the way downstairs. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see um, some more get ready with me because I feel like I don't do them that much anymore. Um, but I quite like this sort of vlog, quick, realistic style. So if you like these, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.